generate headlines tomorrow. Uh, if you get a result here at Old Trafford, that always generates headlines too. Some clubs have managed it down the years, but if you come here and win, well, people talk about you. And that's what happened when West Ham won here unexpectedly 12 years ago. I've had this box since I started going to football, really. I know it's in here somewhere. There it is, 28th of January 2001. East Stand, Tier 2, I think that's the old scoreboard end. It wasn't just the fact that we won there, it was the way that goal was scored and the, the whole nature of it and the, the, the you know, it's winning in the face of adversity, which is what, as a West Ham fan, keeps you going. Frederick Canuti takes up the ball. De Canio's winning the breakthrough, and he's onside into the penalty area. He's not offside, and De Canio scores for West Ham. The flag's dead down. What was Bartes doing? Are West Ham going to knock out the favourites? Manchester United nil, West Ham won. Every time it was pleasure for me to do, to do something for the fans, but this day was absolutely for them. The atmosphere was really buzzing, especially in, in the West Ham end. Everyone was so up for it. I remember the PA playing one of my favourite Beatles songs, Ballad of John and Yoko, and he was belting it out and everyone was joining in and it was written, there was bubbles everywhere. When the fans are up for it like that, then you get the, get the feeling that something might happen. Coping with the likes of, of Cole, of, of York, of Sojka, of Giggs, of Scholes, I, I mean, it's, it's never easy. And Manchester United threw everything, including the kitchen sink, at us. Uh, but Again, as, as a team, you kind of recognise when you're just having one of those days. And if I didn't get in the way of it, somehow a defender was always there to, to make a, a telling clearance. Canute. Di Canio, onside here. I couldn't understand what was going on. As Paolo Di Canio picked the ball up, I remember he was wide to the right. So I had a clear view of both Paolo and the referee's assistant, who didn't put his, his flag up, and then he glanced across and you see Fabian Bartes with his hand up as though we were offside. I remember everyone was shouting, shoot, you know, don't fall for it, shoot. Di Canio, onside here, great chance for Paolo Di Canio. He's taking it, it's Paolo Di Canio. It was easy. Easy because he behaved like a policeman, he wanted to stop me, so... I say, no, I don't stop because I, I, I have the memories when I was a kid, I was a very naughty kid, a naughty guy, I don't stop, if you stop me, no, I go, so I'm joking, no, I, I score and then we will see, you are not the referee, you are a policeman. As a player on a field, you kind of get a feeling for who you can try to trick that way, who, who you can get the better of mentally and Paolo Di Canio is not one of those players. Yeah, they were battering us towards the end and we just thought, you know, we're going into Fergie time, there'll probably be a, an equaliser at some point, but uh, you know, we managed to hang on. The history say not many trophy won and always play against Man United, Arsenal, Liverpool and then go there, maybe lose final, 4 nine, 6 and then you win 1-0 and you go outside from the, the big theatre and uh, you can celebrate the, uh, the, the opponents, uh, fans go silence with the head down, go back home and you celebrate, travel back three hours and a half by car, celebrate with your kids, with your family. I was glad for them in this day. Winning at Old Trafford is special, regardless of when and in what competition, for it to be in the FA Cup and I'm a real romantic, the FA Cup has a special place for me. All those things to come together at once, um, that's uh, like lightning striking twice. Next.